so weird. So, I know I didn't do a pre-scheduled event, and that's because I didn't know if my internet service was going to be here or not. So, I'm in the process of looking into a cell phone booster for our house so that these lives go more smoothly into the future. If you are watching and this is coming through clearly, could you let me know? I'd really appreciate it. So, this is kind of a last second thrown together live, so it might be kind of crazy, but that's okay. I'm making dinner, and so I figured I'd go live and take you guys along. The baby is clearly awake. <laughs> She's tired. I want to see how long she lasts. Um, but tonight I have plans to make Canadian cheese soup. I keep calling it Wisconsin cheese soup, whatever. Um, but it's a yummy, creamy, cheesy soup, and um, it should be really good. So tonight we're going to do a shortcut, okay? Which is, if you guys watched my videos on shortcut uh, nutrient-dense meals, this is one of those freezer bags full of ingredients for soup. So this already has one chopped onion, three cups of carrots, and three cups of already chopped up celery that we're going to use for this Canadian cheese soup. Now this recipe is not inside my cookbook, although this recipe is very, very similar to the, um, was it called cheeseburger? Yes cheeseburger soup, which is one of our favorites. I'm tired, you guys, so bear with me. Um, but anyway, we're going to be using this tonight to speed the process along. I'm so glad you guys are jumping on. If you have the ability to comment, let me know this is coming through clearly. I would appreciate it. You guys are in the most awkward spot in my kitchen other than on the stove itself, but at least we have reception and we're rolling. <laughs> so let me know if you can. Okay, so we are going to Start preheating up a pot that's over here. I'm going to attempt to angle you down at least so you can see the pot. Silly, silly. A big, big old pot because I always use this pot or my Dutch oven. We're going to go ahead and turn this over medium high heat. We want it to heat up relatively quickly and we're going to add probably about four tablespoons of butter to the pan. I also wanted to say that I will be having a cavity update video um, coming out soon. It just needs to be uploaded, so keep your eyes out for that. My butter's frozen. <laughs> All right, into the pot it goes. And then I'm going to grab a bowl because I want to actually saute this onion. Normally I wouldn't worry about that, but because we're doing the cooking class and it's just nicer to saute it, I'm gonna try and take out as many of the carrots and celery off the top as I can to get down to the onion so I can saute it inside the pan. Mm -hmm. Surprise mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> alive! All right, got a big bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and get out as much as I can. If some of it stays in there, it's not a big deal. But I wanna be able to cook up some of the onion. This onion was also chopped using that dicer, okay? So it's not going to have to be sautéed for very long. If you guys don't have one of those dicers, I recommend you get one. I just bought mine at Walmart. Just one of these uh, onion slicers, okay? Makes your cooking go a lot faster, and onions are much more palatable to people who don't like onions when they are diced really, really small. So, as I said, we've got this large stock pot over medium-high heat, waiting for the butter to melt. And um, we're going to start cooking up the onion. All right. So an update on us here is we've been doing well. Um, we haven't had any more appointments for Naomi, so that's good. Um, she's doing well, and things are just naturally evolving. Oops, I missed a chat. Oh, thanks. Okay, it's coming in live. Clear, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, things have normalized um, and now things are about to get crazy because it's spring, so we've got goat kids on the ground already. Sorry about the weird angle for those of you who are jumping on. This is the only spot in my entire kitchen where I can have reception, so I'm doing okay. <laughs> it's not even happening. <laughs> it's not even happening. We're just gonna ignore that it's cutting in and out. Nevaeh is behind me over here to my left. She's shredding cheddar cheese to go into the soup. So, just in case you're just jumping on, you've only missed us adding a whole onion to the pot. 
to saute and then um, I've got some pre-chopped veggies to go in here in just a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and add some potatoes. If you are avoiding potatoes like I am, you could replace these with rutabagas or I've even heard of some people using um, radishes. I've never tried that, but I'm told it's good uh, as a replacement for potatoes. I'm just grabbing all the potatoes out here. I had everything set up for the camera to be to the right, so. But I'm just happy that it's staying on for right now. So we are going to go ahead and chop up some potatoes. The recipe calls for six medium potatoes. All I have are tiny ones. <laughs> so I'm just chopping whatever I think looks about right up here. Did you get it done? Nevea has shredded one pound of cheddar cheese. You could use sharp cheddar cheese. Really any cheeses that you like, you sure could use. Just gonna chop them on up here. Anyway, as I was saying before, the live did what it does with, you know, you know, I'm not gonna talk about it because then it starts cutting out. Uh, so we have new uh, goat kids on the ground. Uh, we're have another dough that's due here in a couple of weeks. Um, in one week, we have 100 meat birds showing up on the farm as chicks to be raised uh, for our family this year. Um, that's a whole pound, huh? Okay, let's put it. Let's put it over there. I'll grab it in a minute. Can that? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Um, and then after that, we have some egg layers, uh, chicks that are coming. That'll be a couple weeks later. And then, like I said, a goat kidding amongst all of that. So it's going to be a crazy April, but a good April. Spring is here. Well, it's snowing outside right now, so I guess I can't say it's here, but um, the spring activities are coming, and they're coming very quickly. I also already started all of my... Um, seedlings for the garden and so that's all hanging out we've just been taking them in and out of the greenhouse and bringing them in at night uh, it's still getting down below freezing and i don't have any sort of system set up at the greenhouse quite yet to um keep it from going below freezing out there eventually i'd like to cover the ground in some sort of gravel or stone of some sort uh, to help retain the heat or even fill up um water barrels of water to retain heat so that the heat then gets stored in the water and then slowly released overnight. I just haven't done that yet. Let's see, what else is new, Naomi, huh? Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I did finish my cavity video, update video, and I was gonna upload that tonight, but then that meant I couldn't go live, so I decided to go live instead. But that video will be coming out. Um, over on Instagram, uh, I had Jess, her name's Jessica, uh, one of the followers here and over on Instagram, uh, tag me in a picture of some food that she had cooked for her family, which I just so love that. Um, cause I'm able to see like the direct impact of my cookbook, which is so cool. Um, if you have not grabbed my cookbook, the link will be down below. It's not down right now. I will get it down after, uh, after we get off the live here, but, um, those cookbooks are still available. I just love seeing photos of moms using my recipes for their kids, which is so cool. Um, if you don't have Instagram and you want to take a picture of some of the meals out of my cookbook that you're making, um, just to say, hey, I'm doing the same thing and um, show that you know, you're using my cookbook, uh, my email will be down in the link down below after the live, and I would love that if you would email me pictures. It's just so cool to see the impact, you know? Because like, you guys always, always get to watch me cook, but I don't get to see you cooking my, my food. So um, that'd be super cool. So you, like I said, you can use any potatoes you want. You're looking for six medium potatoes, but all I have are these small little red ones. So <laughs> I'm just doing extra. Uh, or you could sell it out, like I said, for rutabagas. And with rutabagas, you're going to want to... Um, I've had pretty good luck ordering through Azure Standard most months. Um, some months they are bigger and they are bitter. Um, but for the most part, the, um, most of the rutabagas into the bag are smaller than a softball. So if you don't have some are local, I do not have anywhere local that sells organic rutabagas. And the non-organic rutabagas from the store are covered in a wax. Um, which you usually peel a rutabaga anyway before you chop it up, but 
Um, the problem with that is that wax is extremely hard to get off. So, I just started buying mine from Azure when I needed them. Or I have a friend up in um, Sioux Falls, South Dakota that she uses um, radishes, like I said, to replace, pepper, uh, to replace potatoes. <laughs> it was one of those P words. <laughs> oh my. So I recently learned, and I'm going to share with you guys, that um, sprouted oats are actually not uh, safe to consume as far as the uh, phytic acid is not not totally removed from those. I had just bought a huge case of um, sprouted oats from Azure Standard and with, with intentions to use it to make things like um, granola, like as a shortcut, you know, uh, make morning oatmeal because my life has just become kind of chaotic and I I've had, I actually love that it's become chaotic because I can identify with a lot more of you now that I have a baby <laughs> uh, to life just being nuts. Um, and so basically I ordered those oats and I realized after researching into it on the West Name Price website and also reading, rereading through some of the book on the Cure Tooth Decay that sprouted oats, it does not remove very much the sprouting process with oats. And so you still have to soak those oats, which I was just so sad about. Because um, that was new news to me. Hey, Sharon. Yes, I'm doing well. I'm just hanging on to the craziness of life and trying to work with this internet, and which is why you guys are sitting in a weird spot tonight. Um, I'm looking into a cell phone booster. So if anyone has any suggestions, put them down below in the comments. I've never used one before. But I think we need to look into one so that our lives are of better quality. <clears throat> but I'm doing well. I'm just hanging on to the craziness. It's just taking one day at a time. And I keep looking at April's schedule for the farm and it's laughing because it just is what it is. <laughs> okay, the onions are soft inside this pan. So the next thing I'm going to actually add is the already diced up and frozen carrots and celery. So it's three cups of celery, three cups of carrots. Just makes it so much quicker when you already have things diced. All right, the next ingredient is six cups of broth. This is my homemade broth. I'm gonna need a little bit more, I think. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this jar to get the rest of it out. Back to the sides. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add in the potatoes while that jar is getting a little bit of water in it. This was six medium potatoes. <laughs> Little Naomi sure loves to talk to the camera, even while I was making my um, cavity video earlier. <laughs> All right. I just added a little bit of water to get the, the gelatinous gunk from the broth off the bottom of the pot, off the bottom of the um, jar. So six cups of broth, and it's still over medium high heat. Okay, next ingredient is three cups of ham. So we cured our own ham this year, so that's what this is. It's in a bag. It's already chopped. So I'm just going to... Pour this in. And like I said, sorry about the bad angle, you guys. I'm just, just going with the flow at this point. <laughs> I'm just glad we're still alive. All right. Well, that makes about that, guys. There's literally nothing I can do other than get a cell phone booster. Okay, so we're going to add salt to this. We need four teaspoons of salt. We're going to add salt to this. We need four teaspoons of salt. I'll have to go grab. Okay. It's mine, Karen. I have to get a cell phone booster. Every time I talk about it, it like cuts me off, which is hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> four teaspoons of healthy salt. 
You want pink Himalayan salt, Celtic sea salt, colored salt, not white salt. It's my internet. I guess I'll claim it. All right. The problem is I don't have Wi-Fi here, so I'm like solely dependent on... It's okay, baby. I'm solely dependent on the signal. So, just is what it is. <clears throat> okay. So we're waiting for this to come to a... It's okay, baby. Calm down so that you can stay. Are you going to go see Daddy? I think you're just getting sleepy, honey. Yeah. So we've started melting our butter in the back here. It's almost completely melted, and then we're going to add some homemade sprouted flour. That was another thing that my red flag went up, and I thought, well, if sprouting doesn't remove all of the phytic acid from oats, then it's not removing all of the phytic acid from flour either. So if you're paying for sprouted wheat berries, you shouldn't be... So if you need to learn how to sprout your own wheat berries, you guys can look here on the channel. I do have a video on how to do that. It's not as hard as it sounds. All you need is water, a jar, and a dehydrator. All right. So we are melting butter over here. All right. So as soon as this is melted all the way, we're gonna go ahead and add some flour. And the front pan is just cooking away until these vegetables are nice and soft. So it's just getting ready to come up to a simmer. You want to make sure you don't walk away as you're making cheese sauce because when you're melting the butter, if it starts to burn, it's not going to taste good. Okay, so to the half a cup of butter, I'm going to add half of a cup of sprouted wheat flour. If you are avoiding flour for some reason. If you're doing gaps or grain free, you could also incorporate uh, cream cheese to thicken the sauce. And so you would add that to the pan while you're melting your butter. Okay, so because I'm using the flour, we're gonna let this just like kind of simmer away for 30 seconds or so. I know you're so sleepy, Navi. Um, and that is just to take the flavor of the uh, flour away. If you do not let it simmer for 30 seconds or so, it will taste like flour when you go to add your other ingredients. Okay. Next ingredient is one quart of whole milk. I'm only gonna add about half at a time. I'm gonna give it a good whisk and let it come back up to a simmer since we're thickening it. This soup, like I said in the beginning, is much like the soup inside my cookbook, uh, the cheeseburger soup. Are you getting sleepy? It's okay, the people won't care if you go night night. It's okay. They're gonna finish learning how to make dinner and you can just close your little eyes and go night night. It'll be all right. Okay, so this is starting to get thick. I can already feel it. So we're gonna add the rest of the, that quart of milk. There we go. And whisk. You always wanna make sure you're keeping a close eye on when your liquids when you're thickening them because they do thicken from the bottom up especially with cornstarch. It can look like it's so thin from the top. All right, so we're just gonna wait for that to thicken back up, which should be in just a few minutes here. And I'm gonna grab some sour cream. I'll go to my other fridge, I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed my favorite Nancy's sour cream. That's gonna be going in here. Again, this is called Canadian cheese soup. It is not inside my cookbook, but I have a similar recipe that's called cheeseburger soup. 
in the cookbook. If you haven't purchased my cookbook, I will put the link down below as soon as I get off this live. I wasn't sure it was going to work, and so I did not type anything inside the description box. <laughs> The other thing that we're going to be needing is cheddar cheese. I mean, one pound of cheddar cheese. You could do sharp cheddar cheese if you want. This is medium cheddar. Just whatever you prefer. Mm. I know you're so sleepy. The soup is just barely coming to a boil. Waiting for that cheese sauce to come to a simmer. If you don't have ham, you sure could swap the ham out for something else, but this is just what the recipe called for. And I happen to have ham inside my freezer, so that's what we're using. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of sour cream to the cheese sauce in the back. I will also try and type out the ingredients to this after the live. Um, I know several of you guys requested that I type out the ingredients in the description box. So I'm gonna try and remember to do that each week. Um, if I have time, I will try and get it done for you. So I'm just eyeballing this, clearly. <laughs> and that's because there's two cups of sour cream in each container. So I just kind of cut it down the middle with a spoon and added it to the cheese sauce. I just kind of harpoon the sour cream and then I'm just going to whisk it into the liquid. You are getting very sleepy, little one. <laughs> She's just barely holding on, guys. <laughs> just barely. <laughs> okay. Sour cream's in there. It's getting nice and thick now. Okay, and then one pound of cheddar cheese. Lots of cheese inside this soup. And we're just going to keep that burner over medium. And I'm going to switch out from a whisk to a spoon. And we're just going to keep on stirring it. They don't call it Canadian cheese soup for nothing, right? Okay, so we need a spoon here. I often get asked where I, when I go to use these spoons, where I got my lazy spoons. This is a Target deal. It just hangs on the pot. Um, yes, they are silicone. I'm not 100% happy with the fact that they're silicone. But I'm also not 100% happy that my kids um, always put the dirty spoon out of the pot onto my my uh, countertop or onto my stovetop and leave soup behind. So I call these my sanity spoons. <laughs> but uh, Target used to have them when I bought them. Not sure if they do anymore. But I love them because they can just drip into a pan instead of onto your countertop. I missed a comment. I think that there is no such thing as too much cheese. Oh, well, you'll love this soup then. <laughs> I'm so glad you're on, Sharon, because usually you miss, right? Because you moved to Idaho, right? So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off the cheese sauce because it's nice and melted. And you don't want to burn this. And this is boiling. So this will probably boil for a good 10 to 15 minutes. And then all those vegetables will be all nice and cooked and soft. And then we'll just dump the cheese sauce into the big pan and dinner's done is baby asleep let's see can we stay connected long enough to check she's asleep oh yeah she's asleep we made it we made dinner and the baby's asleep it worked all right it's a little on the short end let's see if i can raise it up without the internet cutting out I feel like I'm handling like a newborn or something. It's kind of crazy <sighs> when it comes to my phone. <laughs> anyway, so that's dinner. It's cooking away. Almost done. 
trying to think of what else I was going to talk about. I had a whole list last week of things that I was going to talk about, and then I never got the chance because the internet was just so distracting. Um, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be having that video coming out about the cavity healing update. Um, the kids are all upstairs watching a video with dad, so I don't know that William's going to come down for his milk. I could ask. I should probably ask. Um, and then, let's see, what else is coming up? So yeah, we've got the cavity healing video, and then, um, hopefully cooking class is on a regular basis especially if I can get a cell phone booster coming. Um, my husband will have to install it. I don't know anything about these things. So I have noticed that I have better cell phone reception on the other end of the house than this end, of course. It's in the living room instead of the kitchen. Um, <laughs> so <coughs> the booster will probably have to go over there from what I'm understanding anyway. And it would be sending the signal throughout the house. So anyway, that is something I'm looking into and I need to get it coming so that we can start having better better classes live and better cell phone service in general when trying to do lives so they don't constantly cut out. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I was asked this last week. I just can't think of it. Um, Cause I had it written down on a piece of paper. Well, anyway, um, it is winter still here. We just got a big winter storm in last night. And so my husband was actually home yesterday and so he was able to take pictures of my teeth for the upcoming tooth video, which is awesome because they turned out really good uh, versus when you give your phone to a child and say, take a picture of my teeth. Um, so it turned out a lot better, which is good. Um, let's see, we're ready to do a Naomi update. Everything's calmed down with Naomi. Everything's going well with Naomi. Um, I had a close family member was just diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. So my life's been kind of crazy. Um, and their lives are really crazy now. <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't know if any of you guys have uh, known someone probably that has been diagnosed with autoimmune disease and has to completely change their diet. That's what's happening over there. Um, let's see what else. I think that's about it. Unless you guys have something else you want to talk about since we're still live and dinner is still cooking. I'm at your mercy. Yeah, <laughs> Sharon. Little sleeping angel, she is. <laughs> She's out. And she'll probably stay out for a good 20 to 30 minutes, maybe. We'll see. Could be longer, but usually in the evening she doesn't nap for very long. And then she sleeps really, really good at night, which I appreciate. Oh, I know what I was going to talk about. So, um, I've had to like completely revamp my meal plan because I had quinoa. A quinoa dish as part of our rotation for our meals for both March and April. But the quinoa was triggering eczema in several of my kids, um, even properly prepared. So I'm not really sure why, but it's completely pulled. Um, and it could have been a combination of things too, but um, the reaction was so severe that we just decided it's okay. We don't need quinoa. <laughs> um, so anyway, I had to redo my meal plan and take inventory of my um, pantry and just see what we have to 